My research looks at the impact that international migration bear on social norms in the origin country and how these social norms then have an impact on further economic and social development in the country. Specifically, we're looking at the case of Jordan, where there has been insistent calls for political and social change in the last years. Our idea is that um, international migrants, while living abroad, assimilate social norms of the destination countries. And when they return back home, they spread those norms in their communities and their households. Women at work are important not only for economic development, but also for social development. International policies that aim at increasing uh, the participation of women in, in work um, may sometimes fail to, to tackle the issue. Uh, the reason why is because there are some uh, discrimination at household levels, and this is where my research comes in. I'm looking at women that has a member of the family that lived abroad in neighboring Arab and Gulf countries, and I'm looking at whether they bear different uh, perception of women's status in the society. Ideally, I would want to compare uh, two identical women, one having a migrant abroad and one having no migrant experience. However, uh, we all know that migrants are not randomly distributed in the population, but they have some characteristics that makes them different from the rest of the population. So in order to tackle this issue, I am controlling for the selection into migration. And I'm also controlling for the fact that among those people currently living abroad, all those who come back are, are self-selected. Also, those who come back, they may have failed their migration experience while living abroad, and hence this is the reason why they come back, or they have some other characteristics which are not known uh, in, to us. When it comes to emigrating, I'm looking at real oil prices, historical, uh, that has nothing to do with the persons, but affect the probability of migrating in a foreign labor market. On the contrary, when it comes to returning in Jordan, I'm looking at shocks uh, made by wars in neighboring countries, which again affect the probability of coming back to Jordan, but is not linked to the characteristics of the person. I find that women that has a, a member of the family that lived abroad experience more discrimination compared to women that has no migration experience in the family. Answers to a survey on the perception of the women's status in the society by women with a migrant in the family are radically different from those of women with no migration experience in the family. Their own self-perceived gender norms are more discriminatory compared to those of other women. We also show that women uh, with a member that lived abroad in Gulf countries, they are more likely to drop out from education, they are less likely to work, and they have more children. And this, from previous research, we know that it's going to have great impact on economic development. The bottom line of my research is that international migration act as a driver of political and social change in origin countries. However, destination matters, and not always the norms acquired abroad are superior to the one in place at home.